Hello, my name is Margot Hansen, and I'm pleased to be able to present to you information about Kathy Richardson's assessment and curriculum resources. In this short presentation, we will look at these programs and take a brief tour of AMC Anywhere for the web. Kathy Richardson is one of America's foremost experts on elementary math education. She is the author of numerous publications, including Assessing Math Concepts and Developing Number Concepts, and continues to train math leaders through her professional development company, Math Perspectives. The programs that Kathy Richardson has developed will help teachers to understand their students' development of early math concepts. Kathy has identified specific phases that children move through as they develop their mathematical understanding. The assessments provide a continuum of these stages. Through carefully developed and sequenced questions, the assessments reveal not just if students can get the right answer, but also their true understanding of the concept. The assessments are conducted in short, one-on-one -on -one student teacher interviews. Assessment results will enable teachers to identify the working level for each student and provide appropriate instructional support. The assessments results are specifically correlated to the instructional curriculum written by Kathy Richardson developing number concepts. This is a supplemental number curriculum for grades K-3 that gives students hands-on practice in a variety of settings. Most of the activities can be easily differentiated, allowing students of multiple abilities to work together. Let's move over to AMC Anywhere for the web and take a look at an assessment and learn more about how the two programs are linked. I have already logged into the system as a teacher. Access is also available to administrators that would give school and district leaders reporting at a higher level. Feel free to get in touch with Didax if you would like to learn more about this feature of the program. From a teacher's point of view, he or she will see the main AMC menu. It shows the students in their class and some brief information about their most recent assessments. An assessment can be launched from the Start Assessment button. Here you can see the nine assessments and we can launch counting objects. The purpose of counting objects is to determine the number a student can successfully count to, not just through rote counting, but with true understanding. To begin, a teacher would select a student. Past assessment results are available to be viewed or a new assessment can be quickly launched. Some assessments have multiple parts, such as counting objects. We begin by selecting a number that we think the student may be able to count with to. I'll start with the number 7 and select 12. Before we get into this specific assessment, I want to point out some resources that are available for all nine of the assessments and can be found on the left-hand pane. Instructions are provided for each assessment that include the overall goals and procedures. There is also a Notes and Comments tab that allows teachers to record specific observation or to type in their own comments. In the Settings tab, teachers can switch the prompts from English to Spanish and then back to English again, or they can choose whether to work in live or demo mode. Demo mode provides teachers an opportunity to practice if they're just beginning with the assessments. In the counting object assessment, we are presenting a pile of 12 counters and observing how the student counts the pile. In particular, we're looking for four specific aspects of how the student counts. First, we want to know if they can keep track of the number in their head. We want to know if they have a method for counting, such as moving them across the table. And we want to know if they're able to keep track easily. And lastly, we want to know if they know the rote sequence that they're counting. I'm reviewing these details of counting because they demonstrate the types of strategies that are identified in each of the nine assessments. The power of the Assessing Math Concepts program is that teachers are not just observing whether a child can complete the task, but they are also learning to identify the strategies a student uses that will reveal their true understanding of the particular concept. Because the student did well on this assessment, receiving an A, meaning they are ready to apply the concept at the number 12, 
the software is prompting us to move to a higher number, counting a pile of 21, to determine the edge or practice level for this student. We're going to exit out of the assessment so we can move on and take a look at some of the available reports. We go to the reports section of the main AMC Anywhere menu and we'll select the student detail report. We can select an assessment, we can select a student, and select the date of their most recent assessment. We can see here each of the strategies that the students selected as well as the level that they were given. Notes and comments can, will be recorded as well. All assessments are available to be printed. The overall goal of the assessments is to help teachers provide instructions for students at their independent practice level. The class instruction reports provides them with this information. We can select an assessment and we can select a date range. In this case, we'll go back to get a more accurate picture of a full school year and we can submit that information. And what the report will show us is how our students are ranked by their P or their practice level. In this case, working on numbers to 4, to 7, to 12, etc. Using this information, we can now turn to the instructional support provided by the Developing Number Concepts program. I went to the download section and for each of the assessments there are linking assessment to instruction guides available as a PDF. In those guides, it targets specific activities from developing number concepts that would be appropriate for students working at various levels. In this case, we're looking at counting objects for students that need practice. What this shows is that activities from developing number concepts, book one, chapter one, and activities two, three, six, and seven would be appropriate for students working with the numbers seven, twelve, and twenty-one. With this brief overview of these programs, I hope you've gotten a sense of how they can be used to assess and instruct elementary students. Much more detail is required to completely understand and implement these programs. Additional information can be found by reading the Assessing Math Concepts books and through professional development offered by Math Perspectives. Our contact information is listed on the screen in front of you. If you have any questions, please feel free to be in touch. Thank you.